The magnetic grid of the Earth is something that you can measure, you can see with a compass, produced mainly by the inner core fluid dynamics of Earth. It works as a giant electric generator. A compass. You can follow it. Cryon shows up in 1989, and in book one, and I've signed a couple of them, so I know you're carrying them. He says that the magnetic grid of the planet is going to move. He channels later that it's going to move uh, more in 10 years than it had in 100. That by 2002, the grid group would be finished and the grid group, crime grid group, would leave. That scenario, at that time that I channeled it, uh, back in, uh, I think it was, book three was released, I believe, in 93, but it was channeled literally in 90. <coughs> and I wondered whether that would happen and what it would mean. Well, it has, and it did. This is the first time I got to see um, validation for what, what Cryon was giving me. Now, you've got to remember back then, guys, that the, that Lee Carroll is different than this one. I was just passing into the woo-woo from the engineering brain. And so I, there was many things I was questioning and I was looking at, and so I was really looking for validation. But the magnetic master, I, I made fun of Cryon a lot. <laughs> um, and, and especially in the, in the early days, because I had no idea what it meant. And I, I thought maybe I had a, a, a refrigerator, a magnet, like an angel, you could stay, stay, you know, stick on a refrigerator kind of thing. You know? That's the magnetic master. I had no idea you know, where that, what that meant. Now we do, because you're going to see something in a moment. You've already seen the proofs that I showed you in the first hour. The proofs from science that said consciousness changes physics. Well, do you remember what they were measuring? The magnetic grid. So the, the field, the magnetic grid's strength is what they were seeing come and go. What if the magnetic grid did something that we were we are totally unaware of, that is unprovable, that science doesn't even know about yet, and may not, that is esoteric, spiritual? And this is where Cryon says, you got it, because there's a lot here. And some of you will remember what he said. It is enhanced, this magnetic grid is enhanced by the heliosphere of the sun. And listen, it's the engine for astrology. Now, what, I want to show you this here, because I've, we've allowed time for it. And I'm, this is also where I get in trouble, because... Um, as an engineer, and I'm always an engineer, no matter how weird I get, I still have that logic, this was my passion, I always want to make things make sense, I've always felt that God is the master physicist, period. And so the, the things, you can't just say, well this works and it's mysterious, and call it a day, and walk away. But I've heard that all my life. Why does a Mercury retrograde affect us? We're in one now. <laughs> what is the... Give me the dynamics. Give, why should it? Okay, I was married to Jan Tober for 13 years. Jan Tober and I, she's, we still see each other weekly. She's my best friend. She's my spiritual partner. She brought Cryon to me. So Jan is in, in my, still in my mind. She's like, there is no... <laughs> question why we were together at all. So this was a phase in my life brought to her and I was an engineer and she was a woo-woo. <coughs> That's what she did for a living. Woo-woo. <laughs> she was a floater. That's all I can tell you. And, I mean, I couldn't even see her feet move. She would go, <laughs> and, and you know, like she would wear gossamer stuff and you just <laughs> But I told her early on, I said, you got, you, you've got your silly women stuff, and I've got, you know, my man stuff, and you'll pay the bills. And so you leave me out of the silly women stuff, and don't offend me. And the, what happened, of course, is what I, is, is I got exposed to it, but often the exposure was not good. <laughs> Numerology, remember that? We were talking about that? Now, I didn't give you the whole story on the numerology thing, which I'm going to do now. 33 is the highest defined neurological master number. Would you like to know what 44, 55 on? You know what? Would you like to know what they mean? Yes. So would I. <laughs> 
the Tibetans have not defined them. Here's why, and this starts to go into a bigger picture that I'm going to talk about a little this hour, and we're really going to peg it next hour. And here it is, that 33 is the highest because 44 and beyond, we are not of a consciousness yet that would understand what it was. Is it possible that we are going to grow in an evolved way spiritually to a place and consciousness apart from spirituality that we would then start to see humanity in general in a growth cycle of maturity in consciousness? And the answer is yes. We have this funny feeling that human nature is static. Psychologists, bless their heart for doing what they do because they help humanity, but they learn a model of human psychology based upon human nature which they are taught and believe is pretty well the same and will be the same and always has been the same. It's about to move. Human nature is about to change. And that is what Prime teaches as well. What is 44 and beyond, we don't know, but it corresponds with another fact that Kriam has told us, which we're going to talk about in the next hour as well. Our DNA, DNA contains the Akashic record, our seed biology information that's esoteric, spiritual, it's not just the, the blueprints of our body, it's far, far more than that. It's, it's, it really is the core, it, it is a quantum not particle, a quantum molecule, which means it has aspects of multi-dimensional um, energy. This is proven by science. I used to carry around the slides with it. A DNA molecule put into a place where you can measure quantum particles will actually change the spin of electrons in a, in a, a quantum field. That tells you that DNA has some kind of field that affects it. We had all kinds of experiments. Three times ago I was here and I gave you the experiments by Vladimir Kapoinen, a scientist who actually showed that the DNA molecule changed the particles of behavior of light. And so this is now known by science. For whatever reason, DNA has a quantum field, a multidimensional field. Why am I 